Hey guys, Flawless Films here. We've just finished working on a short Darth Maul Star Wars video with the Ginger Ninja Trickster. He uh, showed off some of his skills and it was pretty fun to do. Yep, so here's a little breakdown of the lightsaber effects we did for that video. Okay, so um, first things first, obviously you just gotta drag your clip into After Effects. Nice and simple if it wants to do it. There we go. Okay, <laughs> just drag it in to create your composition. Um, we just need to quickly change some settings just to turn it to 25 frames a second as that gives the filmic look and doing 60 would just be a bit of a pain when it comes to this. Okay, so the first thing we wanna add is a new solid. We're gonna make it white as that will be the color of the middle of the lightsaber itself. Make sure it's the same size as the composition. And we're just gonna turn off the visibility so we can see what we're doing. Uh, we'll take the pen tool and quickly mask around the edges of the lightsaber. Obviously, if you had your um, white layer on now, you'd be able to see that the middle of that blade would be pure white. We're just going to set a keyframe for mask path. Because if you don't, it's going to get very annoying. <laughs> yeah, we have done that a few times. Um, so basically, it's very simple. You're just going to go through frame by frame and adjust your mask to stay with the lightsaber, basically. Yeah, we're not going to show all of this because obviously it'd be very tedious for this length of a clip. It does take so, a while. Yeah, so just make sure every frame is correct and we'll just speed this up now to get to the right, well, to get to the end point. Look how fast that's going. We are just that quick. Just so you know, this is real time. This isn't sped up. I'm actually just this fast. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> um, once you've done that, you can go through again and you'll notice at certain points when your lightsaber goes behind the person wielding it, um, you'll need to change the opacity because obviously you wouldn't see it behind them. So yeah, you can, you can either do it this way or you can add a mask, a separate mask, which would be the more realistic way. Yeah, it'd be more realistic so you still get the glow around, but it's a lot more time consuming. So for this tutorial, we've uh, done it the simpler way. And obviously when the lightsaber is moving that quickly, you're not going to see. Yeah, and then once all that's done, you'll also notice there's points when half the lightsaber is either side of, say, a leg or an arm or something like that. So what you want to do is create a new mask, do the exact same thing as before, just for these little bits. And um, just to make sure that you don't have any points where the lightsaber just suddenly appears over the wrong side of the person. Indeed. Okay, next we're going to make a new solid, make this one black this time. Um, we're going to put this in between our footage layer and our white solid layer. So now your footage should look something like this. Looks kind of strange. <laughs> next step will be to duplicate your white solid layer four times, so there'll be five altogether. And we're going to change the feathering for each one, for each individual mask on each layer, if that makes sense. So the first one we're going to change to between 2 and 5, you can, you can play with it, whatever looks best for you. Second one will be to 10, third one will be to 30, the fourth one to 60, and the last one to 120. Just make sure if there's more than one mask that you do get both of them for all of that. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now you can see we've got this nice looking lightsaber-ish glow. Um, okay, then what you want to do here is create a new composition with your footage again. And you're going to want to go through and change the settings again, so like we did, changing the frame rate down back to 25 for the filmic look again. If these don't and, match, you're going to have a big problem. Yeah, and then from here, you're going to want to drag the composition you just made on top. It'll be the same size that we find, so then it'll just look like a black solid with a white line on it. So then you want to change your blending mode to screen, so that you can see the footage underneath. And then we've got it all synced up, so it looks pretty cool. Obviously, the final step now is just to play with the color. You want to select your composition layer, the, the one that you've made the lightsaber on. Go to color correction, color balance. And, and then for us, we're, um, as this Darth Maul, we're obviously going to go red. So you want your highlights reds to go all the way up. And then your mids as well. So this gives a nice red base. But then you might also want to play with the shadows as well. This doesn't want to go all the way up. But this is where you can start doing your little changes to find the yeah. one that suits you best. Make sure you tick the preserve luminosity as well. Otherwise you'll have a very over the top glow. So this is what we got to finish with. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.